Eric was awake. Did, did, did you sleep well, darling? Well, you're on my lap. I, I was simply talking to you for a few hours, a few hours before. In the middle of our conversation, I had a feeling in the pit of my stomach that something wasn't right. You were starting to lay down, slowly close your eyes. It was almost as if I saw it coming. I then li lifted your torso gently and set, set, set you down on my lap. Almost as if you were going to pass, pass out, but I saw it coming. Well, based on the fact when I tried to wake you up, you didn't. And it is it's pretty late outside now. You were asleep for quite a while. Indeed. You were so exhausted. It was as if your whole body just shut down and all your senses were just deactivated and they just lay asleep. I had no, no, no guarantee of you napping for, for this long. No. No, you didn't bother me. I was reading at the time your eyes were closed. As I was reading, I felt, I felt you move. Then I heard you say my name. I have to admit, the way you, the way you say my name is the cutest. You have a very quiet, shy, and chill, tired voice. It always warms my heart whenever I hear you speak. Indeed it does. It sounded very adorable. Because you're very adorable. <laughs> you are very adorable. You're so adorable. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> oh. It's a certain darling blushing. <laughs> oh, you're so adorable. Are you still tired, my dear? In that case, you can go back to sleep, darling. You do look like you, you, you need more sleep. Why not? You know if you're tired, you could just rest. You could, you could stay, you could stay laying down on my lap. Now, now, darling, your body is very tired. It needs to rest and so do you. So, get some more rest. <laughs> That's a good baby. Just close those eyes, those little eyes of yours, and drift back to sleep. Just relax and sleep, darling. Nothing's going to hurt you. Mm-hmm.
rest well, my darling. <laughs>